Arriving in court for her brother's murder trial, Roselyn Amel said she was pleased to see the accused. In her eyes, they're just as much victims of terrorism as the late priest, Jacques Amel. Strangely, I don't feel uncomfortable. I'm even glad to be able to look them in the eyes. I don't expect them to apologize, but if they were to say a few words, I would accept that with all my heart. Father Amel was killed in 2016 at his church in northwest France. Two 19-year-old assailants forced the priest to his knees and slit his throat at the foot of the altar. They also seriously injured one of the worshippers before being shot dead by police. The attackers had claimed in a video to be members of the Islamic State group. Prosecutors say the three men in court gave ideological advice and financial help to the assailants, but their lawyers say they've been made scapegoats. Obviously, we are eager to be able to express ourselves because I believe that my client in this case has always, always entirely rejected any knowledge of a terrorist project. Jean-Philippe Jean-Louis, Farid Khalil and Yassine Sebehia face up to 30 years in prison. The fourth defendant, Rashid Kassim, is believed to have been killed in a 2017 airstrike in Iraq, but as his death is not confirmed, he's being tried in absentia. Hearings are scheduled for the next four weeks.